Today I'm going to give you the solution to the revision paper that I have given out last week. So if you look at your paper carefully, we have a few set. So I want to remind you that number one, we have one question paper that I have listed out number one at the top. So I will start with this question. All right. Um, so when you look at the first question, you have a civil engineer has to design a road in which there is a curve with radius 300 meter. The road will have a maximum speed limit of 110 km per hour. At one angle, should the road bank on the curve so that the vehicle traveling at the speed limit does not depend on the frictional force. So a very important keyword, no frictional force and it's the bank curve. So in this case, we can safely use this uh, formula, RG tangent theta. All right. So in this case, uh, formula is safe to use. But number one thing that you have to realize the speed over here is given in non-SR units. So let us change it. So how do you change that 1110? You have to times 1000 divided by 3600. You have this as 30.6 meter per second. Okay, once you have that, you can now put in into the formula. If you look at this equation, the theta is inverse tangent of v square over rg. Okay, so you have to plug in the formula. So when you plug in the formula, what do you have? So let me do it continue here. v square, uh, sorry, the theta equals to inverse tangent of v square which is 30.6 square divided by rg r is 300 followed by g 9.8 your answer here is simple 17.7 degree so that it is the answer okay so let me move on to the second question i will move thing quickly you have a planet diameter twice of the earth the mass on the other hand six times greater what is the ratio of the gravitational field strength at the surface of the planet to the surface of the Earth? So if you want to do this question, perhaps I want to write down the formula. First of all, the gravitational field strength is given by gm over r squared. And I want to perhaps put a subscript p for this planet. So it has its own radius, it has its own mass. And then I could plug in the information, the mass of this planet is 6 times the mass of Earth. Whereas, on the diameter wise, uh, um, you will have it twice. So what you can understand is that even the radius will be twice the value. Okay, The radius will be twice because the diameter is twice and don't forget to square it. And what you have is that you can do the mathematics. You have 6 over 4 coming out from the term. Followed by G, M, E over r e square okay this is a little bit not sensitive okay and then what else i can rewrite in such form six over four of g e and I can put the G at the side because you have to know the ratio of this planet to the Earth. So it must be GP divided by GE. You have a value of 6 over 4. Simplify it. It's 3 over 2. Your final answer is 3 ratio of 2. Yeah, so this is the answer. For question number 3. A satellite orbit the Earth with constant speed in circle, radius twice of the Earth. As shown in the diagram above, show that the speed satellite is moving is approximately 5.6 to the power of 3 meter per second. So we have to show this equation. So I'm going to make things fast. I do know some formula which is v square equals to gm over r. Alright. And let us just substitute the value. And mass of the earth 5.97 to the power of 24 divided by the r and r here is twice the radius of earth so 
it's circle uh, yeah this circle is twice so twice of 3.6.37 to the power 6 and what do I have is that for this value itself is 3.13 to the power 7 meter uh, sorry a meter square and then don't forget to square root the number because I'm what I'm looking just now this is v square so square root the number you have value about 5.59 to the power of 3 meter per second which approximate to the question here 5.6 power 3 okay so I have shown it here yeah. moving on to part B how about the period of this satellite uh, perhaps we can just use this simple formula the speed for a circular motion and I'm looking for period capital T so it is 2 pi r over the speed okay and what is the r it is twice of the radius of earth and put the substitute the value do it slowly and speed determine just now to be 5.6 about 3 so since if you do not know how to find this speed you can use the value as stated in the previous question in order to answer part b and my answer is 1.43 to the power of 4 seconds okay let me move on how about question 5 question 5 states that artificial satellite in orbit 480 kilometer above yeah above the surface of earth so be careful with this you can highlight all this important term period of revolution sorry period of rotation around the earth is 100 minutes calculate the satellite speed so how do we want to do this question i think this is still the simplest formula okay but be careful with the r because you're talking about the radius of circle 480 kilometer above the surface of earth so you have to take into account the radius of earth plus the altitude this is altitude plus 480 kilometers so you have to put another three more zero for the meter si unit all the way and the same goes for this 100 minutes change to si by multiplying 60 so it's 6000 seconds at the bottom Right, put in the value here you have 7.17 to power 3 meter per second okay, so this is fairly straightforward i shall move on to question number six <coughs> Kalib throws a stone out to the sea from the top of a 90 meter vertical cliff with a velocity of 7.5 meter per second the angle is 30 degree above the horizon you can ignore the effect of air resistance what time does it does the tone take to reach the surface of the water so you can sketch it out in this case perhaps this is the some cliff and you do know the height of this cliff to be 90 meter and you have a water here and you have a projectile perhaps of this trajectory because it makes 30 degree and the speed here is 7.5 meter per second so you can sketch out all this you perhaps need to sketch it out so that it is easier for you to imagine so how to find the time how do I find the time perhaps uh, I will stick to my favorite equation plus half gt square and then ask again what is my sy okay so move on hold on here yeah. ask again what is my sy my SY here, by the time that the stone reached the ground here, it is 90 meter below the cliff. So I should put negative 90. Okay, and about my UY here is 7.5, but remember UY I have to resolve. And how do I resolve? Uh, revise on the triangle here, it is taking sine of 30, followed by T. And at the back here, I have half G g is negative 9.8 in the projectile therefore the entire term here is minus 4.9 t squared all right and then please rearranging all this in a proper quadratic equation okay so give me some time because this thing not so sensitive minus 3.75 t and in the end minus 90 t sorry 90 you can use your formula in your formula sheet to solve this or you can use your calculator and I have one answer which is 
4.69 second. Another answer here would be negative, which is actually referring to here. Okay, so that's not accepted. So this is my simple answer. Ask yourself, what is your SY? The most important question in this part. Move on to question number 7. You have two satellites, X and Y, placed in the orbit around a planet. Satellite X has a period of revolution, 3.6 power 5 seconds, and orbital radius, 7.5 power 8 meter. If the orbital radius of satellite Y is 3 to power 9 meter, what is the orbital speed? So for this question, uh, I need to use my Kepler's third law. Kepler's third law, yeah. Uh, where whereby my r cubed over t square is equal to a constant. Okay, so I have two satellites orbiting the same planet. So what I can deduce is that my r cubed over t square, this term here will be by by the number itself will be the same for the two satellites. Namely, if I want to write my r and t for satellite x cubed, and for satellite square here, this value here will be same as R Y Q and R and T Y square. They will be the same because they are orbiting the same planet. All right. And if I want to do this question, I have to ask myself uh, what is my orbital period of satellite Y. Satellite Y T Y square. If I rearranging this equation. Rearranging this equation, it is equals to r y over r x q multiplied by t x square. So I have to work out this number. Okay, I can do it over here. So my t y square equals to r y and r x. Look at the question. It is stated to be these two value check with me if it is wrong this power of 8 okay so don't forget to cube it and later on you have to multiply by tx square so it's dx it is 3.6 to power 5 square and the value here is 8.29 to the power of 12 okay this this is power 12 here second square and my ty equals to take the square root 2.88 to the power of six seconds so this is my answer so keep in mind um, this ratio will be the same for both satellites reason is because they are orbiting the same planet okay we are moving on to the final question question number nine here so you have to consider the following information about two moons in the solar system you have moon a and moon b uh, all the parameters are given here you have to ask yourself would these two moon will this moon orbit the same planet so bringing a new analogy just now if i how do I check this um, statement is that I have to check their ratio of r cubed over t square. And if the two ratio here for moon A and moon B they are equal, I can conclude that they are orbiting the same planet. So let me check it out. How about the r cubed over t square for both moon? I'll start out with moon number A. So let me write down like this. r for A cubed over t of a squared what is the value uh, i should write down one by one r for a is 2.95 to the power of 8 and i have to cube it divide by t a t a here is 1.9 of days remember always change to si units considering 24 hours 3600 seconds per hour and don't forget to square so I have the value here to be 9.53 to power 12, sorry, power 14. Okay, the unit, if you want to know, is meter cube. 
S minus 2. So this is my ratio for moon A. And I have to work it out for moon B. So let me use a different color, moon B. Scroll it down a little bit. Moon B, R, B, cubed divided by T, B, square. Slowly put in the value for R, B, is 10.7 to the power of 8. And I have to cube it. Divide by this value of 7.15 of days times 24 hours. 3,600 seconds square. 2600. Value here, calculator is giving me 3.21 to the power of 15 unit with the cube as minus 2. Now there's a point that you have to ask yourself if these two values are different, I will conclude that ratio not the same, not same, I will conclude that then these two moons, oops, these two moons do not orbit the same planet. So that's how I answer the question. I'm showing the calculation that the ratio for r to cube over t square, both of them are not the same. Therefore, they will not orbit the same planet. So that's how I answer the final part. Later on, I will give you the solution for the another two more paper. So I listed out number two at the top and also number three at the top in the next session. Thank you.